Hello 3D printer community out there. Today I hope you can help me. I'm running into this problem. It, it, it's not a new problem. I ran into this with the Prusa slicer, super slicer, Cura, I think in an older version. I'm not sure with the newer one, so maybe that's a solution. Um, but now as you might have seen, I received the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. It's sitting behind me here, it's printing, maybe you can hear it in the background. And um, they are using the Bamboo Lab, it's called the Bamboo Lab Studio. It's based on Prusa Slicer, Prusa Slicer, you know what I mean. And to understand my problem, let me show you the Bamboo Lab Studio. And then I hope you can help me with a solution. My problem is, this is a weather cover for my self-designed helix. It's called the Holly, stands for helix of last year. And this is designed, um, it's, it was designed with a commercial, uh, to print it with a commercial slicer. And in the commercial slicer, it's really easy to activate two profiles, one for the lower part up to the beginning of the thread here and the second profile the thread only and uh, the print the lower part in vase mode and the top part in normal mode, let me say normal mode. But this is not possible in Prusa slicer as I know and then or so it's not uh, possible in the Bamboo Lab Studio. Let me show that to you. Here we have activated a vase mode and if we slice it, why we have no slice button? Let me change this real quick. I think that was while I sliced it before in vase mode. So now vase mode is activated and you will see what happens we are missing the thread on top. It's only printing the outer part and it looks... I have no idea what the slicer is doing, but yeah, this is no solution. <laughs> Not really. So we deactivate uh, base mode. Let me check a few settings. Uh, two walls two or three, let me, three upper, two lower and 15% infill. That's a really standard setting and we slice it. And now you see we are running into, uh, yeah, a really big problem. It's unusable. Come on, Bamboo Lab, slice it for us. A warning. Okay. Now, if we look for that, we have infill on the lower part, so it's <laughs> not usable. So let us set the infill to zero. Correct. Yeah, that's the that's the solution. Correct. And we see it's not really a solution. You will see it in a second. Here the lower part looks nice. Yeah, it's not really waste mode because we have two walls. And that would be a workaround, okay. But we are running into this problem. Now we have on the top of this solid part, we have a lid. We have a top cover of two, whatever is that? Yeah, two top, no, four top layers and yeah, it's, it's not usable. Maybe you can cut that by hand after printing. No, no, that does not work because we would need really a lot of support there and bridging this with 
no sorry that's no solution so yeah why not reducing the top layers to zero because that's the solution right and that looks much better lower part is fine we have no lid here but if you see it here we don't have top layers combined with zero infill that's not really a solution so that's my problem and I have no idea how to really fix it. Is there a way in Prusa Slicer or here in the Bamboo Lab Studio to combine two profiles? I tried to cheat. I tried to, to, to replicate it here. I tried to uh, make a clone, place it at the same position. Uh, that's not perfect I know and then or, or cut the second part only the thread and position it over here on on top on the right position let me delete this again but let me show you what happened here in the bamboo studio if you move the part below the print surface and you release the mouse it always automatically placing it on top of the surface on the print plate and that's a problem if I design this top part as a different part to place it in the air the bamboo lab studio is always posi positioning the thread part on the print surface so that's also no solution so that's my problem and to show you why I want to solve this problem I show you a part printed with the commercial slicer this is a shorter version it's for two and a half turn helix the one I have shown to you is for four and a half turn but the problem is the same or the solution is the same this is printed in vase mode and, and look how nice this is yes there are scars not sure why this happens maybe it's not a perfect calibrated printer uh, this is printed with my x1 uh, sidewinder artillery x1 sidewinder and this is printed as described printed in vase mode two bottom layers then vase mode up to this position where the thread starts and then in normal mode i i say normal mode you you understand what i mean and then you get this beautiful part it's spray painted with uh, colorless paint to uh, even improve the the weather protection and water resistance etc this is printed in PETG transparent isn't this a nice part and I want to print this with my bamboo lab x1 carbon combo so i must find a solution or i have to do my own profile in the commercial slicer but then i don't have the auto calibrate functions etc 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 so yeah it would be nice to do it in the in the prusa or in the bamboo lab slicer why i say prusa slicer cause there is already uh, a profile for Prusa Slicer for the X1 Carbon Combo with the calibration etc at the beginning. So yeah, I hope you can help me on, on this problem. Please write it down in the comments, write me an email, contact me on social media, all the links down in the description. And now the wireless microphone died, sorry for that. All I was saying is, um, I hope you can help me with this uh, problem. Please give the channel a thumbs up 
and uh, subscribe to it. It really helps the channel. And uh, thanks for all your support via PayPal, buy me a coffee, or the best way is via Patreon. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching as always. Please write down in the comments your solution. I hope we find a solution. Okay, see you in the next one.